And we are back. Welcome to another day's action in the Asian Cup and the African Cup of Nations. We have got six predictions for you today from three different groups across Africa and Asia. After yet another day of just absolute unbelievable drama and chaos in the African Cup of Nations. Meanwhile, the Asian Cup yet again just went as predicted. Come on, Asian Cup, do something interesting. Yes, we had a few good upsets in the last round, but the final group games in the Asian Cup so far have pretty been pretty standard and as expected. But African Cup of Nations, once again, Algeria out as bottom of the group once again. An unbelievable win for Mauritania that have actually given themselves an outside chance of qualifying as a best runner-up. Just fair play to them. What an unbelievable and historic night for them. Not to mention all the stuff that happened in the earlier group in AFCON as well with the almost hand of Gambia against Cameroon, who dropped Andre Onana. Big decision. I wish Eric Ten Hag would do that once in a while and give Bayandir a chance. But, oh my God, what an unbelievable day of AFCON Nations action once again. And hopefully it's going to deliver once again today in all of the action taking place. Before we get into today's video, of course, as always, if you haven't done so already, please do consider dropping a like on this video and subscribing to the channel if you are new around here. And let's get straight into it. We have got ourselves, as I said, six predictions for you today. And once again, we will be starting in the Asian Cup and we are going to be starting off in Group D with the group of Iraq, Japan, Indonesia and Vietnam. First prediction I think is fairly easy to do. Iraq have won both of their games. Vietnam have lost both of their games. Vietnam, Iraq will of course want to 100% secure that top spot in the group. They will do that with a win over Vietnam and I expect them to do so. I'm just going to go for a casual 2-0 win. Could be more, probably should be more given what we've seen from both teams so far in this tournament. But I don't think Iraq will want to overexert themselves on a game which should be pretty formalic for them. The interesting game though will be between Japan and Indonesia. Because of course Japan lost to Iraq in that shock defeat earlier on this week. Indonesia of course got their win against Vietnam and it sets up a big deciding match. Whoever wins will get through. If it's a draw, both teams will set up themselves in a good sort of potential best third place team to get through but if we're being realistic you've got to look at the form and say yes Japan did lose to Iraq however they did win their previous 13 games before that they are ranked third uh, I think it's 17th in the world and Indonesia are like 150th so Japan really should be winning this one I'm going to go for 2-0 once again realistically it should be a lot more than 2-0 but I think the way Japan played the other day against Iraq, I think they're going to be a little bit more conservative, knowing that they are guaranteed to go through in second place if they do get the draw because of the goal difference. I think it'll be a little bit more reserved, but it wouldn't surprise me if Japan end up running away with it. From there then, we of course make the switch from Qatar over to the Ivory Coast for two more groups in the African Cup of Nations today. Let's start off with what's going to be happening in Group E, the group of Mali, South Africa, Namibia, and Tunisia and this is a really really tough group as things stand right now. South Africa of course lost their opening game then I did kind of predict them to lose to Namibia after Namibia beat Tunisia and then South Africa beat Namibia 4-0 but now they're playing Tunisia and Tunisia lost to Namibia so you would think South Africa would then beat Tunisia but then Tunisia drew with Mali and Mali easily beat South Africa. So this whole final day in this group really is up for grabs. I think there is a situation here. All four teams, as you can see, obviously have a chance of getting through. There is no guarantees on anyone. It's just going to be what sides turn up on the day. And I think it's really hard to split all four of these teams right now. What I'm going to go for is a 2-2 draw for South Africa and Tunisia and a 2-1 win for Mali over Namibia. I have to believe that that Namibia result over Tunisia was just a freak result, and fair play to them for that. I think Mali will be looking to secure a top spot in the group, and I think they will do it. I think Namibia will put up a good resistance, but I think Mali will end up edging that one. And yeah, like I say, South Africa and Tunisia, really, really up in the air this one. Tunisia should win this game. Don't get me wrong. Tunisia should win this game. But they lost to Namibia... And they drew with Mali. And they've not been very good in this tournament. And this is a real opportunity for South Africa to secure themselves a knockout spot by getting that draw. Which would see them go through, I believe. I know it guarantees to put them through because... Oh, no, it doesn't. Well, we'll be interesting. We'll be very interesting to see. Worst case scenario, South Africa will secure themselves a best third place spot. 
with a draw. But it all depends on what happens in the other game. Very, very tight to call. And speaking of tight to call, we then move over to Group F, where the numbers are a little bit different, but the stakes are very, very similar. We have Tanzania and the Democratic Republic of Congo taking on each other, and Zambia against Morocco. And I look at this group and I say that Congo have been very poor. I think Zambia have played well and have been unlucky not to get more points than what they've got. Tanzania produced a great result the other day as well. So, oh, I don't know. And Morocco obviously probably should have done better against Congo and they didn't. So all things up in the air again in this group. I think it's going to go down to the wire once again. But in the end, I think it's going to be a win for Congo and a win for Morocco which will see them both progress to the next round and will fully see Zambia and Tanzania eliminated and would give Mauritania that slight chance of getting through if the results from Group E go their way as well. Very, very interesting to see what happens. Like I say, tough, tough groups in Africa today. Asia, a little bit easier. As always, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. It's going to be another day of thrills and spills. I think we could see another upset. I'll be shocked if we don't see one more upset. Could we see a side like Morocco potentially get knocked out? A big win for Zambia and a win for Congo would see Morocco drop out. I think potentially they would get that best third place spot. But honestly, I think anything could happen today. From what we've seen from Africa in the last few days, I really think anything could happen. It's going to be an interesting day. Thank you very much for watching. We'll have our final group matches, I think, certainly from Africa tomorrow, as well as I think the final group matches from Asia as well. So I will see you for that predictions video then.